is the pod worth it? Yes, so today I'm going to be talking about how much money you can actually make from Depop because there's a lot of videos out there saying 1,000 in one month from Depop and really, I don't think they're too realistic. Don't get me wrong, 100% think you can make £1,000 from Depop in one month but, and there is a big but to this, that is if you've been doing it for a long time, really depends on how much stock you've got as well and as well, you can 100% in your first month make £1,000 in sales but once again, there's a lot have a big butt will you make a thousand pounds in profit because depop will take at least a hundred pounds of that so that's a hundred pounds gone you're gonna lose probably a minimum of 50 pound on shipping another 50 pound on paypal fees so that's 200 pound gone which still does leave you with 800 pound but now you've got to factor in how much you actually paid for the items which in some cases could add up to 500 pounds and now you've left with 300 pounds which is really more realistic for how much you could make a month but don't get me wrong there is still the potential to make that thousand pounds if not more from selling on depop some people live off depop as a full-time wage it says it all how much money you can really make from depop obviously these are the top sellers that have a lot of reviews are verified which really will help your shop when you can get verified that is very hard to get verified if you want to know how to get verified a video will be up in the cards and in the description on how to do that and as well the amount of reviews you have will greatly affect your amount of sales just where if you have more reviews you're just more likely to make sales just where your class is more as a trusted seller. I've been doing Depop more seriously now for three months and my take home last month, if you don't already know, if you haven't watched that video, go watch it after this one. It's up in the cards and I'll link it in the description. I came away with £315 and that's not including the cost per item. I like to do it differently though. I like to add it up as a total. Like I've got multiple spreadsheets for each bail and I like to add up the totals like that instead of taking away the each individual item cost. But as I was saying, a realistic amount amount of money to be making from depop if you're relatively new and you don't have too too much stock is about three to five hundred pounds however this does greatly depend on a lot of factors including the actual amount of money you're making per item because if you're already selling shoes and supreme and stuff like that you're more likely to have a higher take home just where the profit on shoes especially like ones you can get in drops is insane and some of the profit you can get on supreme is insane as well but then obviously with selling vintage clothes and kind of second hand clothes if you want to call them that is that you'll probably make less money per item but you'll have such a greater stock just where vintage clothes are more easily accessible in a higher quantity even though you could make 300 pounds on one pair of shoe from getting them off a drop they could be the only shoes you get a month but you could sell 40 vintage items and make 500 pounds from them if you're jumping onto depot to think it's going to be easy and quick money let me break it to you now it's not as i've said before in previous videos if you have watched any of my videos before and if you have big up to you it takes me about eight minutes on average some items will take longer than this some items will take less time than this it really depends on the item but it will take eight minutes from it coming out of the wash to being listed on my depop and if you times that by 100 items that's 800 minutes dividing that by 60 that's 13 hours a bit of quick math so roughly 13 hours to list about 100 items is quite a long time but that's not including a lot of other things including the wash time how long it takes me to set up the equipment that i use each time i take photos the time that it takes in between changing clothes to do the model photos you might think that sounds ridiculous because that's only going to be a minute or two but if you're doing that for each item that's going to add up pretty quick so realistically it's more like 10 to 12 minutes per item to list them start to finish i also spend at least an hour a day on the app if not more replying to my messages refreshing items copying out addresses listing new items the list goes on my average usage for the app for the last four weeks is probably about 11 hours some weeks about 13 and a half hours and some weeks being 10 hours and that's another half hour to an hour you could spend a day writing out people's addresses packaging orders and taking them to the post office also the time i spend on photo room getting the white backgrounds for the photos so as you can see there is a lot of time that goes into doing depop and all stuff like that it's not as easy as just i'll slap it on depop that's all good another 20 minutes to half hour as well i spend every other day really is writing out the spreadsheets on my book keeping track of the amount of money that i've made from bales and keeping track of how much money i've made this month and all my inflows and outflows for the month so if you're looking to start depot to make some quick and easy 
easy money you're not going to and if you're not really interested in clothes and you are kind of on it just purely for the money you're not really going to enjoy it because as you've just seen there's a lot of time that goes into it and to invest that much time into something you don't enjoy you're just not going to be able to do it or really maintain it for a long time so I would get looking for a new hobby if you are just looking for money but if you haven't already been put off what I would do if I was starting Depop I would start off by just doing like small low level flips what I mean by this is like buying and selling Supreme that you buy off other buyers buying and selling shoes that you buy off Facebook Marketplace clothes as well that you can get off Facebook Marketplace clothes from charity shops clothes from car boot sales don't go and throw all your money into a vintage wholesale bale just don't do it start by doing these smaller flips gain a knowledge of reselling gain a knowledge of what sells and what doesn't sell and kind of get a feel for it see if you like it and kind of you then see the kind of time and effort that really does go into it and see if it is actually for you a good way to start out if you aren't really too sure you can literally start with 10 pounds go to your local charity shop pick up four to five pieces list them on depop see if you like the process and obviously once they've sold you kind of see the whole process if you have just started as well i would invest in poly mailers from the start if you don't want to invest in poly mailers from the start you can send your items in bin bags like i used to do not gonna lie the link to the video on how to send your clothes in a bin bag will be up in the cards and in the description there's so much content that you could learn from about depop on my channel it's crazy but is depop worth it i think so i really enjoy it it does take a long time as i've just said you've kind of seen how long it takes it'll probably take up about 15 hours of your week if not more but if you do really enjoy it and actually kind of like clothes and you are really into selling clothes or just into clothes in general i would get going selling on depop even if you're only doing it low scale and you aren't really looking to turn it big and you're just looking to sell your old things out your wardrobe it's still a good thing to do because that's how i really started the first kind of things i was selling on depot were just stuff i didn't really want anymore and then slowly i kind of built more of like an interest for it and just slowly slowly got to the point where i am now as well you aren't going to become a top seller overnight it's taken me a year to get to where i am now i could have greatly increased the time it took me to get here but i don't really think it would have been worth it so i probably wouldn't have enjoyed it that much because say you go for a 300 pounds into it when you're only making five ten pounds a sale compared to your 300 you put in you're going to be a little bit disappointed so i would start with a low amount of money and you'll really kind of learn a lot more that way as well i think like i did i only started off with 50 pounds like i've said in previous videos just buying and selling supreme kind of growing my knowledge on it growing my love for selling vintage clothes in a way but if you have enjoyed the video or found out whether depop is worth it or not or if it's whether to even start depop please drop the video a like it really does help my channel well it'd be so appreciated if you could just drop me a like and drop a comment down below on how long you've been doing depop for and would you recommend it to people so people who are new to depop can go and see how great depop really is but if you did enjoy the video i would really appreciate it if you could drop it a like but please like subscribe and comment down below any videos you'd like to see in the future